Let us pray. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, it's again another time we come thanking you for the opportunity to come out and run for the fighting, the fallen, and the families. Running is about life. It's about living. It's not about dying by no means. You may feel like you're going to die when you're running, but it's all about living. A three mile and a five mile. My name is James McMillan, and I run for Staff Sergeant Kevin Kessler. He passed away August 30th, 2010. I still remember the day. It hurt, it hurt, it hurt. That was one of my soldiers. He may belong to somebody else now. He may be in a new organization. He may have his own soldiers. He may have another platoon sergeant, but that was one of my guys. That was one of my dirty dogs. That was one of my friends. As a leader, you know, you just tend to take your soldiers, you take them on with you, you put them on your back, you carry them to become your children. And I always tell my kids, no matter what happens, I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna carry you, I'm gonna carry you all the way. First time I called Kess's name, prior to my third or fourth run, I'm not a shy person, but I just didn't know how to, what do I, how do I do this, you know? And then we was just listening to people say names and it just came out. And after I said it, it was like, Okay, all right, I, this is good, this is, this is good. He was a runner, he was an outdoorsman. He got like climb mountains in Hawaii, skydiving, he did everything, Kevin enjoyed life. Wear blue is therapeutic for me. I mean, dealing with PTSD for one, and going out there and being around people that have, you know, fellow soldiers and leaders out there that have some of the same issues that you may have, and being able to talk about it. That is a, it's a good thing. It's a very good thing. The other thing about the group is just the positive vibe that you get out there. I mean, it's such a large support group. It's not about how fast you run or if you can finish. It's about going out there and putting forth that first step to start running. And then you'll finish. I guarantee you'll finish. Nobody's ever in that group is going to let you stop running. They won't. They'll come back, start turning around, and go back and get you. If you only ran one mile, the wear blue mile will be the ultimate mile. Because if you have any sense of patriotism in your butt, you'll think about it. That's the part of the race, no matter the where you are, you, you going for a PR or whatever, you'll slow down. You have to, you'll have to slow down and you have to look at those faces of those individuals, their smiles. Are those guys that were young, 25, 19. 30 years old that didn't get to make it to 40, 50, grow old with their families, but they gave that ultimate sacrifice. You deal with it and you have to deal with it because that's what they want you to do. They want you to get over it and live life. Remember them, yeah, but live life. And that's what, you know, where Blue helps me do.